Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to some more Xenonauts. How are you? Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. I hope you're excited. I am, because we're in the middle of a mission. A mission that is going to make or break the future of what we're going to do. Um, basically, we're on a ground mission, if you remember correctly. And we have a lot of new soldiers, because the mission before it ended up seeing everybody but one man die. He watched his friends die in front of him. It was horrifying. Horrifying. So we took all the gear off the dead bodies and slapped it off on some new privates and corporals. Said, go get them, cowboy. You got this. And now we're on a new mission. So that's what we're doing. Um, we are still working on retrofitting and, and getting, like, new armor for everybody and stuff. But right now, a lot of the money's, uh, money is kind of tight. So that's kind of the big concern that we have. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. It, it's definitely not out of the question uh, that these guys are going to survive. And basically, I've got to play it super duper safe right like that's gonna be my biggest concern i need to play incredibly safe for the for the duration of this mission and the missions there to come so that those who survive will get uh, a lot of experience and all that goodness and um we'll see how it ends up going generally so our new shield woman anja kaiser uh we got to keep an eye on her to make sure she doesn't get her ass killed that's kind of important and we got up some people with some wolf armor which is kind of awesome if i do say so myself and uh yeah, we'll just see how it goes, man. Definitely nervous. There's no doubt in my mind. This is a very nerve-wracking situation. Um, but we'll see how it all goes. I'm gonna actually have her face this way, and hope that she doesn't get like picked off or something. Uh, so we're gonna go over here. I just don't know what to expect as far as aliens are concerned. So let's get this guy over here. He's got a sniper rifle. We're in a really weird kind of landing zone, too, so we'll keep him here. And this guy's got the heavy weapon, so we'll keep him this facing this way. So we should be good, right? This is going to cover mostly everything. Let's see how it goes. Fingers crossed there's not too many aliens around. One of the big things I need to do with these ground missions, now that I know aliens can carry grenades, and I, it sounds like aliens are getting shot somewhere. Security guards might be fighting them. Um... I, anyway, I gotta make sure that we're not clumping everybody together massive amounts. Now, uh, Scott Manley, if you know who he was, he was on a video, if you know that who that YouTuber is, he was, a, he was watching one of my videos not too long ago, and he gave me a tip, basically, don't clump your dudes together. And I said, yeah, man, sounds good. And I did it anyway, like an idiot, um, at, during one of the videos. And that was a really bad situation for us. Uh, and ended up getting me killed. Um, I'm just kind of clearing, air, clearing areas out right now. Uh, so I've got, I kind of, you kind of live and you kind of learn, right? That's kind of how I'm going to look at it anyway. I like to pretend I learned a lesson. Really like to scout an area out. Uh, I really don't know what to expect. I feel like there's going to be aliens over here somewhere. And again, that's a big worry of mine. If I can get him over here, I might be able to get a good view. I am not making my way towards that ship until I am positive that we're alien free. In a lot of these zones. And because our guys are so green, so new on the field, uh, they have to play safe. They really, really do. He can't even move that far because the uh, battle armor on her is way too much. It's too heavy on her. So let's move her. Let's try to get her moved up. Let's get this guy. I gotta move him back. Do not want him stuck in a bad spot. I'm gonna move him here. And we'll wait. This guy, I'm gonna move. I kind of want him in here with them. We'll try and get a flank going. Gonna get him ducked. Let's see how what, what we come across. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is there an alien there? Is there an alien behind my dudes? What is going on? Who is he shooting at? I swear to God, there's an alien behind my men. Like, in the corner of this building over here. What? Where were those gunshots coming from? Oh! Oh! What is that? One might ask. And that one is going to be me. Uh, whatever it is, we want to take it away. And capture it. What the fuck is that thing? All right, so we've got some new aliens to concern ourselves with. And they're a little bit on the horrifying side of things. 
Um. Huh. Well. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure we have enough for some snapshots. And uh, we'll move him up and try and cover this door at least. Um. Hmm. Interesting, peculiar situation we find ourselves in. I could try and flank him, but he's gonna go solo that way, and I don't want him to do that. If I can get him in here, it's gonna be our one of our better bets. Yeah, just go. He's melee style. I'm hoping he's just gonna go unconscious. I don't know who's shooting at him, but it sounds like he's having a real hard time. Um, did he just fall unconscious? I hope he did. Because I want to take it back, and if we succeed in this mission, which it's, you know, it's hopeful that we do, uh, we could take him back. Wait, one of my men had died? Wait, 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 wait. Why didn't it, first of all, why didn't it sh show me that? Oh god, they turned your men into zombies. Okay, um... Okay, um... Sorry, I have to take him out. I don't have a choice. I'd rather that not be the case, but it is. Oh, shit. Uh, let's just see if we can... At least, yeah, suppress him. That worked. Huh. How did that even happen, man? That's what I want to know. Alright, well. It was a long shot. He's just gonna move up. He's suppressed, luckily, so he can't do much. He looks like he's bloated, so I'm afraid he might blow up. And I hope that's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna shoot him and hope it doesn't. Okay, he does blow up. And he releases another one? I'm gonna move you back. So you can get a shot. That didn't happen. That that just happened, actually. Okay. Uh. Huh. So suddenly we're dealing with basically what is I know as like chrysalids, a from the new XCOM, possibly the old XCOM too. I just don't know. All right, so we lost somebody. I expected to lose people in this battle. I'm not gonna lie. I just didn't know that that was. I just don't know how that happened. Like I didn't see it happen, so that worries me a little bit. Any aliens at all? I'm so afraid. I'm just trying to clear this shit out. We never ever got him unknocked unconscious, which is really unfortunate. Um, for now, I'm gonna just wait. Right? That's what I'm gonna do. I want you to keep guarding. I think we're clear on this side. But let's go ahead and move you over. Just in case. I'm gonna wait. I kinda wanna clear this area out first. These two privates, man. Hmm. Doors are open. This tells me maybe there's uh, civilians over here. More probable is that there's aliens. That's the edge of the map. 
So let's get him down on one knee here. Let's actually get this guy over here ducking as well. Better. More cover that way. Gonna continue to kind of just guard. We've got freaking like scouting squad over here. Private and someone who's with him. I don't know if it's a private as well, but it looks clear. So we got the private. We got two privates. This is gonna go well. Honestly, the fact that they're still alive is surprise, surprises me great amounts, but hey, you know. It looks good. There's an alien dead over here, so there was an alien. The question is, where, is that it? Did he infect anybody? Like, I wonder how they work. Keep on scouting. I want to clear everything out first. Um, let's take a look in the window. Good. No aliens so far. Everything's clear. Let's get him covering his back. And if we can make our way around, we can actually approach the flank, clear this area, and kind of come in from the side. Which is going to be my plan. I think it's time to start moving them out. But I do want to clear the area, so... No alien, no alien. I'm gonna wait here. Let's get you over here, guard. Slowly but surely move our men out. Against the wall. Actually, you know what? Let's move you here. Anybody comes out of the ship. So dangerous. I am so nervous. I don't know what to expect. So this is a Corvette, right? So there's going to be those side doors and shit. No aliens. Keep moving them up. Don't die. Um, I kind of want to explore the other, the rest of all this. So, like around the ship. Looks okay. Let's just duck. I'm gonna keep him aiming right at the door so we can do some protection. Let's move you here up against this. Make sure you're in the clear, and that's going to be everybody. If we can get out of here with one casualty, I don't even know. I'll be singing the praises of these guys, I'm telling you. I have an idea. I don't know how well it's going to work, and I have a feeling it's not going to work well at all. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you move here. All right, here's my plan. I'm going to have you move here. I'm going to have you move right here. You're going to stay ducked here, and you're going to go right here, and you're going to shoot over his shoulder. We'll put you here. Put you here. What I'm going to do is pop open the door and hope that these two guys can get enough leeway. See, the thing is, they're not going to be able to shoot, right? They're not going to be able to shoot these two. I'm a genius. It's not going to work at all. But I think I know. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. Let's get you out here. Move you. Good. Duck. Okay. So these guys should have next turn. So I can move her up, open this door, have these guys at the door shoot in, right? With a good distance, a pretty safe distance, and hopefully some decent cover. Um, and hope that that's going to be enough to basically hit them from afar and uh, be safe. So if I'm like, I'm here, right? Popping the sucker open. Okay, like that's that's my job, right? I'm gonna pop that sucker open and leave it. Hopefully it stays open. I am going to move this guy. Actually, he's gonna stay right the F there, Sander Knudsen. Let's move, keep moving you up. Get you guys moving. 
and turn. Let's see if they move in in our in the way. I don't know if the door automatically. I think the door automatically shuts, right? Yep, they're there. But that's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I want. So they're they're a good. He's a good distance away. I don't know, but they're taking like a billion pot shots. So that's good. That's perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Alright, so that worked out real well. How much ammo do you have? You have enough. You have enough. I would love to have you reload, but I'm going to have you wait. I'm going to leave that open and hope that he comes for another cross. I was hoping he could get a shot, but like hit. Some experience would be good for him. I don't want to push into this place quite yet. I'm going to play patient. Play the patient game. Good shooting. Good shooting. Okay, no. Luckily, is a he's bad aim. Yes. Awesome. Good job, Sergeant Jackson Chapman. You sir are truly a hero and a legend. So here's the thing. You have no ammo left, right? You have to reload. You have some ammo left, and I think there's an alien at the doorway. There is. If I shoot, how much time units can you use? 24. Let's go ahead and use them. Didn't really do anything. And we'll move back and duck. I mean, we could move him here. And take a shot. Suppress him. Well, actually, I didn't think that through. I want to get him out of here. Well, let's hope that he doesn't get killed. Private Sander Nudson, you don't die, sir. You're a lucky bastard. Good shooting, Tex. Alright, yeah, he's... Okay, wow. That was really lucky, in fact. Okay, that actually worked out effing well. Uh, we're gonna reload you and move you back. Because that's just how it's gonna work. You, sir. I'm gonna pop this open. Ma'am, I apologize. We're just gonna go ahead and throw that in. Oh, you're gonna get shot, but you survived. Good job. Nope, you're not. Okay, you got shot. Shield took the blow. I'll take it. Hmm. You're gonna duck. You know what? Works for me. Hopefully, he'll just keep missing. So there was a super armored one in there. We blew up the corpse, unfortunately, but it was kind of a a des. I don't want to say it was a desperation move, but it was a. a uh, I don't want, it was a move out of necessity almost. We'll keep you there, it's fine. Okay. No way to hit. We'll wait another turn. He healed uh. one. Ooh! Resisted! Hello, wolf battle armor. You're beautiful. Unless that was the captain. It's like that's his ability or something. Right, you know what? Let's back you up. Just in case you're in the line of fire. Alright, good. Hey! Yeah! We did it! So we got a Reaper Corpse and a Plasma. Assault Plasma. What? Ah, oh, wow. That makes me feel real good. We did it, everybody. Alien Assault Plasma. Short range alien plasma weapon. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Curious what it all means. What it all brings home to us. Hey, we made more money this month. Soviet Union. Everybody's really giving us cash. Wow, we can actually build some stuff. Okay, this game is not over. We made some. We made a little bit more money. Alien Victor and five funding regions are lost. It's fine. Uh, we do need to take care. North America is actually down, which is surprising. Um, but we do need to get this covered too. All right, wrapping this episode up here. That was a really good mission. We'll be back tomorrow with more Xenonauts. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.